All right, so this video is going to go through our purchase process all the way to receiving the inventory and then uh, selling our inventory uh, as well as um, seeing the breakdown of that in our accounting. So we're going to start off by purchasing our product. We're going to create our PO. We have our uh, We have our distributor there, and we have our rice 25 here. We're going to buy 135 units at a price of 430. So I'm going to save this. You can print out the PDF here. Now we have the purchase order. We can set our name and uh, company information, our company shipping address, our uh, customer's uh, shipping address, um, and our contacts page or on the actual information here. We're going to go and confirm the order. Now we can receive the product. Into our inventory, we have a demand of 3135. Um, if we receive all 135, we can mark that done. If we don't receive 135, we can specify a different amount. But we're going to say we received 135. Now that we have that in inventory, we can create the bill here if we want. And we can also go in and see our cost associated with that. So let's create the bill. So we got that. We can register the payment directly here, or we can do it in accounting. Let's go to our inventory module now. In inventory, we will see that we have our landed costs. And we have this one landed cost. We can specify this with our warehouse in one order, which was the first purchase order that we received the inventory for. And we can also specify it with a vendor bill if we wanted to. The bill that we paid our customers in association with that purchase order. So we can save this, compute, and validate. Now that we have that validated, we can go to our accounting. Actually, we'll go to our sales first. We'll, we'll create the quote, add in our customer. And we'll sell that rice. We're going to sell the entire 135, 135 units for 67,000. Um, and we'll save that. We can confirm the order here. We can print out the order as well and send that to our customer. We have the delivery. We're going to validate the delivery. They picked it up at the port. That delivery is complete. Now that we have the uh, delivery complete, we're going to go in and invoice our sales order. So we're going to create the invoice. We see that we delivered 135 units. When we click Create and View the Invoice, it creates our journal entries. We can confirm the draft and make it uh, posted invoice and we can register the payment here. So I'm just going to specify for the amount that they paid. I know there's a tax right here. Uh, I forgot to take it off. Um, but if you want, you can easily take off the tax. Um, you would have to do it from the sales order and re-invoice for it um, because this is a posted invoice. But uh, you can take off the ta tax uh, when you do your database. Um, so I'm going to register the payment. We got the amount here. I'm going to create the payment in Odoo. And then what we're going to do is jump back to our accounting module. And then now we see here we have some payments in Odoo. And then we have some bills to pay. 
when we go to our bank account here, we can synchronize with our bank account. For the demo, I'm not going to type in my bank information, but I will create a uh, dummy bank statement. So I'll just do bank statement one. I'll save that. And then I just need to 77625. So So we have our date. I'm going to just say uh, deposit from wire. Um, and then the amount was, oops, discard this really quick. Got sidetracked. OK, so the amount that we had was 7765. Okay, and then I can do wire transfer. So when you synchronize your bank account and you get the, the statements uh, in Odoo, you'll be able to have this automatically populated with um, the transactions that are showing up in your bank account. Um, and then you won't have to do this. But I'm going to for the, the demo. And then you can post your bank statement. And now it's going to ask if you want to reconcile. Uh, when we go back to the dashboard, it's going to say that you have one item to reconcile. And it's, it's showing that we have a balance in our general ledger and then an outstanding payment. So it's, it's basically saying, do you want to reconcile these amounts? So you can click on that, and it will show, hey, we have this payment from uh, Glee Company. And then we have. Uh, a bill here as well. It's highlighting the blue one because it's the same amount, and it's saying, hey, this is the amount you should be uh, reconciling because they're the same amount. So we can click this and then validate. And then it's going to give us this little happy guy saying, we've reconciled. Uh, and then now it's going to show our uh, balance in the general ledger. And now when we go to our accounting, for our uh, balance for our profit and loss, it's going to show that we have a uh, 67,000 operating income from our uh, product sales, and then some expenses associated with that. So we have that vendor bill associated because um, because we 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 uh, we bought like the 65,000 dollars worth of the product, and then we sold 67,000. So we made a 2,000 dollar profit on that. Um, and then when we click in, we can actually click into the, the product and see the, the ledger, and we can see uh, all the numbers associated with that. And then we see here for the product sales that we sold, the invoice associated, and we can view that. And it will actually show you the invoice for the product sales and the payment. Um, so you can see everything related to that. When we go back to our profit and loss, if you wanted to specify, you wanted to just see uh, customer invoices, you could see that if you wanted to see um, everything at once, you could as well. Like if you wanted to see vendor bills and invoices, you could see that, and it will break it down um, in terms of those items.